What's going on, guys? Today we're going to learn Hey Soul Sister by Train. This one's a really fun, upbeat, uplifting island vibe, so the rhythm's going to be a lot of fun to play, and it's going to be a really energetic song. If you're a complete beginner, the song is a little bit fast, so you're going to want to start with my free beginner crash course by clicking right here. Everyone else, make sure to check out my top 10 steps to mastering the guitar-free training in the description below this video. And with that being said, let's get into this song. Okay, so let's start this one off with the intro slash break. This one's a nice upbeat song, it's played pretty quickly, but we've only got one strumming pattern for this entire song and the chords are all pretty easy, so it shouldn't take you too long to get down. So we're starting off here, capo 4th fret, and starting on a C chord. Your strumming pattern for the whole song is going to be down, 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 up, down, up. And you're going to play this twice on each chord before switching, unless I tell you otherwise, there's just a few spots in this song. But for this intro, all four of these chords are played for two repetitions of the strumming pattern. So our chords are going to be C, G, A minor, and F. And if you find the big F tough, you can just play the little F. So with that being said, played slowly for you, here's the full intro. That's all there is to it. One other important thing to note for this strumming pattern is there is a bit of a swing rhythm in the down, up, down, up. So swing rhythm just means you add a little funk and groove to it. You gotta kinda listen to feel it out. But it's just a little bit of a not exact one and two and. It's more of a one and two and three and four. So it's a little bit of an offbeat rhythm. Basically just listen and kinda get the island groovy vibe to it and listen along and see if you can add that into your playing. So a straight rhythm would be You can hear how everything is very even there. But when we're adding in this swing, we're going to offset the down up down up a little bit. It's a subtle distinction, but if you can work that into your playing, it'll really give it this island vibe to this song. Don't worry about this too much if you are a beginner, but if you can add it in, it will help it a little bit. But with that being said, there's the intro. So now moving into the verse, it's going to be very similar. Our first four chords are going to be C, G, A minor, and F, just like the intro. And then we're going to play that again except on the last two bars, we're gonna play F and G for one bar each. So all together played for you slowly. And there you go, there's the verse. So you can see there, the only thing to remember is just that last two bars, you have F and G both just played for one repetition of the strumming pattern. But that's all there is to it for the verse. Practice that at slow speed, get it smooth, work on that swing rhythm, and then bring it up to a fuller speed. There we go, so that's all there is to it for the verse. All right, so moving into the chorus here, we're gonna change things a little bit up with the strumming. So our chords are gonna be F, G, C, and G. Pretty simple there, but the timing is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna play the F 
for two run-throughs of the strumming pattern, G for one, and then C and G for half. So you're gonna play So you can hear what I did there on that C and G is I'm just doing a down, down, up, then switch to G, down, down, up. So all together again. Okay, so that's basically all there is to it for the chorus. You're gonna play that block of chords three times, and then you're gonna end off the chorus with just the F and the G. So I'll play the full chorus for you so you can follow along. And there's the full chorus. Okay, so then moving on to the final part of the section, the bridge, it's gonna be a very similar idea, just some slightly different chords here. We're gonna start, we're gonna play C for two bars, G for two bars, then A minor for four bars, then back to G for four bars, and then you end off the bridge with A minor, C, F, and G, all played for one bar. So that's a bit tricky to get your head around, but just look at it, look at the chords and lyrics in the description below this video, sort it out, and then play it a bunch of times and you'll memorize it. So all together played slowly for you. The strumming is exactly the same as it's been for the rest of the song. Here's the full bridge. And there you go, that's that full section and that's the final part to playing this full song. And there you go, if you can play all those parts, you can play the full song. This one is gonna take a little bit of practice because it is a fast song, so just work on it slowly, get it smooth, get that swing rhythm down and just work up your speed over time. If you learned something from this video, please hit that thumbs up button and say hi in the comments, it really does make a difference. And make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my newest uploads.